Hello everyone and welcome back to Age Nagash, which is a channel dedicated to Age of Sigma. And in this video I'm very excited because we have got more news from Warhammer Community and this is all going to be about a new model coming out, which is a new vampire. I repeat, a new vampire model is coming. I know we've seen a few lately, but I'm always excited when new vampires because Although we've seen them, we haven't really been able to get our hands on them. So this is very excited. I uh, just want to say that going through this Warhammer Community article they put up, if you want to check out the article, you can go on the website and see it. With this article, I haven't read it beforehand like I do when I cover these news. I like to um, sort of like learn as I go and as I read it out to you guys. I think it's more exciting that way. But what we have got here is it says for the title, Vampire Rat Style Icon. It's Kritzer the Rat Print. Kreitzer, Kritzer, like I said, first time reading through this, so apologies if the words are pronounced a little bit wrong, but here we go. What I also want to say is, going through this video, if you guys have got any thoughts on this new vampire, because it is quite a, a different looking one, because I have seen the picture, so I have seen what it looks like, just haven't read all the text. So um, what are your thoughts on it, and let me know that in the comments as well down below, as it will be great to hear it as always. So let us begin. So the first thing it says is New Model Monday. So, um, welcome to our first ever New Model Monday. Every week uh, throughout March, we'll be showcasing a brand new, uh, previously unseen miniature, though, uh, sorry, through the rumor engine, may have revealed a glimpse at some point. Each model will be from one of many game systems set in the Mortal Realms or the 41st millennia. So, they really could be anything. I was going to say, I don't remember New Model Monday, so that's a new thing. That's cool, only for March, but who cares? What's that? That should be four Mondays then, right? Roughly, so it should be. So that's pretty cool. And as we can see, we've got a picture here, but I will just read this bit. It says, now you know that you have uh, to look forward to every Monday this month. Let's go on with today's offering. So say hello to Kritzer, the Rat Prince. Now, it might be Kritzer. I think it's Kritzer. But anyway, so Kritzer, the Rat Prince. And as we can see here... This guy's a vampire who maybe hasn't had the best time with with rats or Skaven in general. But that's cool. I, I do dig this. It's very sort of like dark and gritty and sort of not really gruesome, but just sort of like um uh like uh it would make you repel a little bit in the sense of like just how disgusting and gross it is. But I do like it. So it says this well-dressed fellow hails from uh, Varagor's Dynasty of Soulblight Vampires. So that is from the um, Cursed City that we've covered before. As you can probably tell from his fancy attire, Kritzer was once counted among the nobility of Ulfenkarn, which you can read about in our first Cursed City crier. Unfortunately, his attempts to secretly undermine the Lord uh, of the land led him to an ill fate. And he was horribly mauled by Radokar the wolf. So that's pretty cool there. We know Radokar is the big scary vampire. Apparently he's not an ogre vampire, which I'm very disappointed about. But I think Games Workshop could have made that clearer, if I'm all honest. So then it says, against all odds, Kritzer escaped by heaving himself into a corpse cart and playing dead among the lifeless bodies. It carried away. That's interesting. Could that be a new corpse cart thing? There's a hyperlink here to uh, go to the corpse cart, but I don't think the link is going to. Uh, okay, it just links to the old model, so that's fine. But that's what corpse goes, in case you're wondering. Quite self explanatory, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> if you see Monty Python. But, um, so that's cool. So maybe a new one of those. We know we're getting new zombies. It says he sustained his ravaged body uh, by feasting upon the blood of the rats he found gnawing on the corpses stowed alongside him. Kritzer soon discovered he'd unwittingly been granted the blood kiss by his ferocious assailant and was slowly evolving into one of the soul blocks. Okay, so when he was attacked, he was actually um, by Radikar. He That means that he got turned into a vampire, which, because Radikar is quite a powerful vampire, maybe that'll pass on to powerful traits there, but obviously uh, body shape and stuff very different. Anyway, it says, you may have noticed the Rat Prince of Fabulous, or should... Uh, or should that be verminous cloak, somewhat uh, maroon appearance? Well, it appears that his unorthodox transformation into a vampire had some unusual side effects. In addition to being accompanied by his vermin tide of rats, both living and undead, Kritzer can transform into a swarm of rodents to evade his foes. That's really cool. 
God, I hope this guy has a Skaven keyword. Imagine a Skaven vampire. I know that's not where this guy is, but that's really, really cool. I'm sure, like, these cloaks and stuff, like, that is just skinned rats, right? And the heads of rats and stuff. But it looks like maybe he's got these rodents under the tail. Uh, like, I was going to say, the tails of the rodents under his uh, cape. But I can't really see any rodents here when we look. That might be part of his aesthetic, how he can transform. You know, like a werewolf. But instead, or like a well, traditional thing, isn't it? A vampire turning into bats and escaping out of the way. This guy can do rats, which I think is quite fun and new. So it says, I like, it is very... It's different. I was a little bit unsure, but I'm like, it's different. It's weird. It's a vampire. Let's go for it. Um, it says, we hope you enjoyed our first ever new Model Monday. We will, of course, be back next week with another miniature to show you. So make sure you join us then. In the meantime, let us know who you think has the most stylish cloak, Kritza or Radokar on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram, blah, blah, blah. So um, they haven't put a link here to the Warhammer Quest page, which makes me think that this guy isn't on there. Um, they did say that there would be an other character... Um, available to Warhammer Quest that we hadn't seen already. So maybe it's this. Like I think you buy it for another way, maybe for the novel. Can't really remember. Um, but that's this guy. I do think he's weird. I'm, an, I'm not really too sure about the rat tails poking out of the cloak, but I do like him overall. I think it's cool. I think I know like the wolf sign here does definitely look like a rat. Like when you literally see that next to a rat's head, it really does look like it. So um, yeah, wasn't expecting this. We saw a silhouette of a model yesterday and I did think it was going to be a vampire. I did call it, but... Uh, I would not have thought it would be a vampire like this. Um, I'm just a little bit like sort of like stunned a bit like, well, this is something I did not expect. I do hope they do some normal looking vampires because the vampire lady we saw come out so like Grave Lords is quite uh, extraordinary with her bat butterflies holding up her hair, shall we say. Um, I prefer this guy over her, but then again, we've got the vampires from the Underworlds box set coming out at some point and they very much... Um, overall have more classical vampire style so i think we will see a bit of both and if we are going to see that it's nice to have these different looking ones here but anyway guys that's just like a really short sweet thing we've got there a really really short article i probably made it longer than it, than it needs to be but um i like it that's gonna be my thoughts but more importantly i want to hear your thoughts down in the comments as i think it's very important to uh hear everyone else's because you know my opinion does not necessarily make it better than anyone else's we all like different things but uh, and if you do like him, let me know. If you don't like him, let me know in the comments as well. And uh, any predictions and stuff you think we could see out of this? Um, would be really cool. I just love it. This guy had the scaven keyword. Just like little things like that. It'd just be fun. I don't even know if it'd be any good, but would be a laugh. Um, so that, guys, what I'm going to say is if you did enjoy this video, please absolutely smash that like button like you normally do. And if you haven't already, for some reason, smash the subscribe button where I make hundreds and hundreds of videos that hopefully you'll enjoy as well. So feel free to go check any of them out. And if you have already done those things and you haven't done this last bit, make sure you smash that bell notification button. Just a small thing. It's just that third extra, uh, third extra click but it really does go to help support the channel. Make sound a bit weird. Basically, it helps with YouTube knowing to um, say people are enjoying this content, so they sort of like share it more if you like on like YouTuber's website and recommend it to people. So I really would appreciate that and let me know your thoughts down below. What I would like to say though is a massive, huge shout out to my um, patrons and my YouTube members. Where is a better place I can get this up? Here we go. Um, these people, because of them, I am able to keep doing it YouTube as if I wasn't getting any um, financial support to help me towards the cost of things like battle tomes, uh, technical equipment, all these sort of things, mainly just time, um, I wouldn't be able to justify doing this at all. So huge shout outs to these guys. Um, so that's gonna be my top supporters, which are gonna be my Morgas. That's gonna be Sandback, Jonathan H, Philco, Bleed Red, and Christopher G. They're all babes and they're absolutely fantastic people and really cannot thank them enough for giving me that level of support. My vampires also do a good level. It's going to be Mir, Martinez, Rouse321, David A and Ronnie H who give me a really good support there every month as well. Thank you so much for that. And then my necromancers is cool, which are going to be Jack L, Radiation Riley, AW77, Dice Sagas, Wolf Nick, Michael Dobby, Quad, Cranky Wombat and Christopher F, Christopher C, James S and Doug P who is a YouTube member as well. So all you guys are the reason why I can continue to keep this up. So thank you so much, as I always say with every video. But with that, what I do want to say is if you'd like to support the channel a step further, you can become a patron. You'll find a link to my Patreon top of the description down below. 
takes you there. Even if you just consider giving anything, even if it's just one dollar a month, it goes straight towards keeping this channel going. Or if you think uh, Patreon, you know, don't want to set up a new account or anything, there is actually a membership. Uh, program on the channel now that you can do which is just a bit easier if you don't want to go into patreon so when you see my subscribe uh, button just left of it i think you'll see a join button essentially you press that it will talk you through if you want to become an agent of gash youtube member basically what that is it's, it's like patreon but you can support me on youtube so it might be a bit easier for you to do that and doug um has done that like i've already mentioned but with uh, that guys i want to thank you very much for watching this as always um and like like i know very short video i usually do a very long video so very short video but just wanted to talk about this guy as i think it's very really cool um and i know i usually do these news videos on a thursday but we have got uh was it new model monday now so this could be a regular monday thing i could do so That'll be cool, depending on what it is. Of course, if it's something I'm not interested in, I will not be doing a video, but um, here we are. So yeah, like I say, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts down below. Remember till next time to stay safe, wear a mask, wash your hands, stay hygienic, so we can actually use this vampire in our games by the time it comes out, blah, blah, blah. But more importantly than all of that is remember until next time that Nagash is all, and all is one in Nagash.